Oh, it's a sexy car. On this episode, making a pair of neons shine and fly. We go or we blow, one or the other. <laughs> Early days, late nights. That's the way it is when you're super up cars. Teams Turbo and Nitrous battle challenges in the shop to get to the track. The whole motor is shifted. Hopefully it starts. Time's the time, and it's still turning. I'm not nervous about racing against the guys. I'll do it all day long. Two cars, two teams, and three days. Two groups of gearheads try to outgun each other in the garage, turning average autos into amazing rides. under the expert eye of champion rally car driver Andrew Comrie Picard. It's a battle to the finish line on Floor of the Wheels. The Dodge Neon. To most of us, a very basic car to get from A to B. But in the hands of skilled tuners and customizers, they can turn heads and take names at the drag strip. This week, we've got two identical 95 neons for our team to transform. But first, let's see what our judges have to say. Our first judge is Andrew Miller. He's a pro mechanic, former robotics engineer, and owner of Mean Green Performance Products. Typical for a car of its age. Anytime you have to do a car in three days, it's a big challenge. But you're starting with, you know, a car that's pretty bottom end. This is a family driver. This is not a performance car from the factory. Our second judge is Brian Busby, a veteran paint and body expert with Sherwin Williams, who also builds custom cars and choppers. This one needs uh, probably about eight hours body work. It's got some bubbles, it's got some dents. And our third adjudicator is Derek Cuffey, an award-winning audio installer and co-owner of the custom shop, Disturbing the Peace. As you can see, this is a 95 Neon. It's got a lot of space. We can maybe go with a couple 12s in here. Steering plate, not a good thing. We've got quite a bit of rust on the corner panel in here. A lot of work needs to be done in here. If you have a big imagination, I think the job can get done. This one is in a little rougher shape. It's going to take a little bit more work, I think. We're hoping this team, the other team, they'll do something special and put a smile on all of our faces. Everybody's got dreams. Let's see what they got. Okay, Team Nitrous, here's your car. Cool. Pop the hood, check it out. A little bit of nitrous, a little bit of exhaust. This thing will rip pretty good. Mark Pazabon will drive for Team Nitrous. He's a licensed mechanic, a sport compact drag racer, and one of the top engine tuners in Canada. I like making cars go fast, and that's about it. Okay, Adrian, what do you think of the interior? We're gonna rip out these seats. We're gonna take out the steering wheel, probably put in a racing steering wheel in there. Career by day, Adrian Ferlani lives in the fast lane, but when he's not making deliveries, he pours his passion into rebuilding cars and installing entertainment systems. My entire life has been driving, because pretty much anything with an engine excites me. Okay, Christine, what do you think of the car? I've seen a lot of these done up, and they have a lot of potential. Christine Barube is an automotive marketing expert, a member of the Sweetie Girls racing team, and has competed in car shows with her own Dodge Neon. I'm a car girl. I always have been. It was good to know that I was working on a neon because of my background. Okay, Mike, what do you think of the body? Well, uh, Andrew, overall, the neon seems pretty clean. Got a little bit of rust in the inside of the trunk lid. This thing will look mint when it's done. Mike Fair is a pro paint and body specialist and a member of the J-Team Racing Club. Do a little bit of body, a little bit of prep, a little bit of paint. I, I enjoy it all. It's great. <laughs> it smells like a dead cat in the trunk. It does, in fact, smell like a dead cat in there. I'm glad I don't have to work in the inside of the trunk. Okay, Team Turbo, here's your car. Oh, oh <laughs> Let's look under the hood. What do you think? Move some of these pipes, take out some of the AC. With a little bit of work, we can get it done. Dave Sharma is a skilled mechanic. He's an expert in turbocharging engines. My motto is like, if it comes apart, I can put it back together. Blake, tell me about the body. It's a little bit of a, looks like speed burn here. Cancer in the wheel well. Blake Reynolds is an all-round backyard mechanic and will lead the team on paint and body. We all like to laugh, we all like to joke around, but when it comes down to doing the work, we do the work. All right, Shane, tell me about the interior. The interior looks to be pretty good. I can definitely see some potential in this car. Definitely some racing seats. Well, I think we can get this car together. 
Shane Hussain is an award-winning car audio installer and a member of the 24K racing team. I like to have people laughing. Things just go better when everyone's happy. All right, Angela, what do you think of the car? I think it's in pretty rough shape. Angela Carter is Team Turbo's driver. She's been working around cars since she was a kid and is now a top drag racer in her class. It's in my blood, I guess. My aunt used to race when she was younger, and I just grew up knowing that cars was the thing. OK, teams, you've seen what you have to work with. Now for some ground rules. You've only got three days and 12000 bucks to spend on your cars. On Judgment Day, your cars have to be ready to go to the showrooms. And then you'll be judged out of a maximum of 60 points. 20 points for the mechanical work, 20 points for the body work, and 20 for the interior and audio. After that, we'll take your rides to the quarter mile, and whichever posts the best time will get an extra 10 bonus points. The loser will get nothing. So Nitrous, think you can handle that? Andrew, I think you should ask them that question. Oh, all I have to say is that we'll still be there waiting for them at the finish line. Listen, talking fast and going fast are two different things, and you guys are going to taught a lesson. <laughs> Okay, teams, let's get to work. Right away, the team start ripping their cars apart. I'm disconnecting the battery if anybody needs it. Size complex? I am taking out the headlights. Taking out the seats. Taking the bolts off the exhaust manifold, a little rusty. We got brand new racing seats coming for the cars. Just like Lego, baby. That entire dash has to come out. Do you want an extension? I'm too short for this tool kit. Blood, sweat, and tears. And rust. Don't forget the rust. All these seats have to come out. Everything's going to be dyed black and painted black. Neons are, are for one purpose and one purpose only. It's for old ladies to go to the grocery and come home. All right, so what are you doing here, man? I'm just uh, starting working on the header. Going to take that off, put our new header on. Taking the front bumper off the car so we could fit the front and rear bumper cover. Team Nitrous is brimming with confidence. Mark is just amazing under the hood, and Mike knows so much about bodywork and paint. I mean, he does it for a living, so it really helps having people that are confident. Feeling good, feeling confident. We're going to win. Damn right we're going to win. <laughs> Play it down in the cheap seats. But over on the turbo side, some teammates are still unsure about each other. These bolts are long. They're not like the front. I would say the strongest person on my team would be Shane. He does talk the talk, so let's see if he can walk the walk. Ew, look at the bugs. Ew, gross. OK, so I'm a little shady on the body guy. I don't know. We just pulled him in off the street. I have no idea <laughs> what he can do and what he can't do. It's nice and rusty back here. They told me I was the body guy said okay, and in I came, ready for anything they threw at me. I don't know anything about domestic cars. Nothing. It's going to be a really big challenge, especially because the rest of my team doesn't know anything about Neons either. Thank you. Team Turbo discovers that some of the parts in their car just don't want to let go. Two there, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One more to go. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. <sighs> Don't tell me there's one more. What do you see for the potential of this car? What do you see it putting out, and uh, how do you see getting there? We have a couple uh, tricks up our sleeves to win this. All in the end, our strategy is basically everybody's going to focus on their own part of the uh, on their own part of the vehicle, and we're going to try and just unite in the end. And after the three days are done, we're going to have a good working, good looking, and fast vehicle. He's good. The muscles. Not. You got twelve grand to spend any way you want. That's uh, that's a lot of fun. Carpet removal. Oh, dude, there's things growing in there. Smells like it. Ew. That's gross. What is that? Some girl's phone number for a good time call forward. <laughs> Coming up, as the first day comes to a close, fatigue starts to set in. It's up to you. You want to stay? How long is it going to take? The clock is ticking on this intense competition. Two teams have three days to completely transform identical Dodge Neons into drag racing dream machines. We're gonna put in a set of springs and coney shocks. Team Turbo will be increasing the horsepower of their engine with the addition of a turbocharger. But first, they've got to remove the clutch. 
But I know we're gonna drop the tranny for sure, so it'd be a good idea if we can take off the exhaust. Meanwhile, across the floor, Team Nitrous will be pumping things up with a big shot of nitrous oxide. But first, Mark must concentrate on replacing the intake manifold. It's the intake manifold. It was the intake manifold. This is our Indy intake manifold. This will give us a lot of horsepower with the nitrous. Nothing's easy about this competition. Our teams have to turn their cars into show-worthy drag racers, but we're strictly enforcing a spending cap of only 12 grand each. It's time for them to put down their tools and go and battle for a bonus. Okay teams, this is a carbon fiber hood, custom molded for a Dodge Neon. As you all know, it's lightweight to help you go faster and good looking to help you with the judges. But we only got one of them, so we're gonna do a little thing today I call junkyard bowling. Each one of you will get to throw one frame, that's two tosses. Each pin is worth one point. Team with the most points wins. So we got any bowling champs here? Yeah, we're right. All right, let's bowl. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Team Turbo gets the first points on the board. But Team Nitrous answers back quickly. Only one frame to go. Woo! Oh! Team Nitrous rolls on to victory. Okay, congratulations Team Nitrous with a score of 17 to seven. You win the carbon fiber hood. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Keep cheering, because it's all you're gonna win through this whole contest. Keep talking, because that's all you got, baby. Back at the garage, the teams get down to business. Rebar goes in, and we don't cut it down the middle. And you're going to see, see half of it through here. Yeah. We're going to try and separate the transmission so that we're able to put in our new clutch. Okay, now push. Right there. Push. Team Turbo feels that they can replace their clutch and install their turbo kit without removing the engine. What scares me most is putting on the turbo kit because it's at the back of the engine and it's a tight space. Hey guys, we've got our nitrous kit. Team Nitrous has selected a different strategy to get more speed out of their Neon. A big boost of nitrous oxide. A bolt-on turbo kit is just bling. That's not gonna make you go fast. Buck for buck, nitrous, it will always be the bolt-on turbo kit. Oh yeah, this looks good. Metal Brock nitrous system. Right on. Right it's on. unsafe, it's unreliable. One little thing can go wrong and your whole car can end up in flames. A little bit of juice when you get a tooth pulled or when you get some serious dental work. This is what they're injecting into you. We're going to go nice and powerful. We're going to hit this thing up with the turbo and it'll connect at the track and they'll have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Did you guys hear that? Your nitrous isn't going to do anything. Yeah. All right. I have this lovely little coil pack that probably belongs to you guys. And if you stop trash talking so much, I might actually give it to you. It's not all trash talking, it's all in love. So sweet. My hair is in the oil. Yours takes five minutes to do. This? Half an hour. What are you talking about? What do you this? mean? What do you no. mean? I grew up as a tomboy, so I'm used to hanging out with the boys. That takes time. Oh, yeah. That, that is quality time. time. I'm there. sure. Everyone, back up. We asked to borrow it kindly and they said yes. You can keep the broken one and We're give sir. us back the non-broken one. We'll give you a one, one that's, that's no not broken. We can, we, we'll do that, we'll do that. Just push it forward because it's It's just because that bar is so yeah. small. With no help from their broken pry bar, Team Turbo is running into some problems and it seems like they're near the end of their rope. Do you want to just call it a night and yeah, tomorrow we'll come back to it? Yeah. What? We're not going to do this? I, Are you kidding me? <laughs> Four bolts. Four. Up to you. you willing to stay? How long is it going to take? 
like 15 minutes. No. No, what? maybe about half an hour. We had decided that, okay, well, since we have to bolt on the turbo and no, 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 we're just going to take out the whole engine instead of trying to separate the engine and the tranny in the car. So I'm making them stay for another half an hour so we can get those four bolts out. <laughs> What's bitch stand for again? <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Because Team Nitrous doesn't have to remove their engine, they can forge ahead in other areas. Meanwhile, a frustrated Team Turbo is ready to call it a night. How are you feeling about your strategy and where you're at? It's about 10.30. Uh, we've gone through about, I'd say about four or five different ways to try and get this tranny out. You can't take the engine out because you have to raise it up. But when you try to take it out, there's nothing to bolt it onto. Once the time's up, the time's up. If you leave early, you're just wasting your own time. They're slackers. <laughs> They're committed in different ways. <gasps> Everybody's know. special in their own way. <laughs> <laughs> just got our training dropped out, so tomorrow we've got our work cut out for us. As you can see, we got all our parts to put on. There's still tons of work to be done. Yeah, he was the only one that's working on the engine and he didn't get dirty. And actually, you're not too bad either, but here you go. Yeah. All right, I see how it is. Yeah. We can't do that, that's called sexual harassment. Exactly, good night. <laughs> good night, all. Cool. Bye, slackers. Going home early? Coming up, the team bring their own extreme machines to show and shine. Oh, yeah! <laughs> The start of day two, and both teams have pretty much finished ripping their cars apart. But now they got to put them back together. Team Turbo is having trouble getting in their turbo. But they finally decided to take out their engine, and now they have the room to install it. Team Nitrous over here is having problems fitting some of the parts to their car. And they're pulling off all their body panels to paint in their door jams for a total color change. But both these teams got a long, long way to go. I didn't see any of them this morning. I think they're still sleeping. I don't know. We left after them, and we're here before them. What a morning. We're more dedicated. Christine, did you say we lack commitment? Last night we were here at about 1.30. I mean, early days, late nights. That's the way it is when you're souping up cars. Hey, uh, pretty boy. He just answered to pretty boy. <laughs> you're officially pretty boy now. Hey, they call me pretty boy. I'm all right with it. They could call me anything they want. Pretty boy now. Do you want to paint this pretty boy? <laughs> hey, Christina, can you help me over here? Stop calling me Christina before I beat you up, pretty boy. With a lack of sleep and a lack of time, things are getting a little testy. Today is the most critical day. If we don't get done when we're supposed to get done today, it's going to throw our whole schedule right off. With that shot of nitrous, it's such a big, large uh, introduction of horsepower to that motor. It might, there's a chance that it might not like it. <laughs> and it may end up blowing up in, in a big ball of flames. <laughs> The battle of the builds continues, and each team is still trying to get a leg up. But we're about to give them another chance. We've asked each team to bring in one hot car for a little side competition that we call the Show and Shine Showdown. Okay, teams, welcome to the showdown. Team Nitrous, what'd you bring? We have an awesome Chrysler Neon done inside and out, turbocharged under the hood, Lambo doors. Yeah. All right, Neon! Yeah. All right, Team Turbo, what you got for that? The ultimate JDM supercar, the S2000. Oh, yeah. yeah! Okay, teams, the winner of the Show and Shine Showdown will get this video game console to fit to their cars. So let's see what the judges have to say. Hey, Derek, this How's is a beautiful going? Honda S2000. Let's have a look under the hood. Let's take a look. Nice paint on this. Wow, wow. Oh, look okay. at this. Right, you can see it's got an upgraded throttle body for bigger. Yes. It's even got the ARC air filter. Very nice. The suspension is obviously all upgraded. It's got a kit on the front bumper here. Upgraded 2005 headlights. It's a really nice job. All right, we'll take a look on the inside here, okay. Brian. It's got an Alpine navigational system going along with the Alpine deck. 
And as you see, he's cut out the dash, obviously, to put in this monitor. It's a really clean job. Clean huh? job. Looks stock straight out of the dealership. Let's check out the trunk, see what yeah. he's got going on here. Wow. Again, the paint's nice. Looks real good. He's got the 2005 taillights, as well as he's got the one-off Japanese wheels. Beautiful job. The mods are so subtle, you can barely see them. They're, they're like, yeah. They just look like they belong on the car. OK, let's check out this Neon. Wow. As you see already, he's got Lambo doors. Got custom right. design here. Wow. OK, look at this. He's got JVC audio radio deck here. He's got a custom job done. He's got silver and black. And if you look and you pull down the visor, as you see, he's got LCD monitors. So he's done a real sleek job here, real nice. Carbon fiber look all around, silver leather with the black matching tones. And it has the flat black and chrome graphics to match the wheel accents. Looks really nice. Let's take a look at the back. As you can see, he's got two MTX audio 8000 12 inch subs. And as you can see, neatly tucked away, he's got a 12 disc changer to go around with the sound. All right, Brian, let's take a look under the hood and see what he's got. Let's have a look under this carbon fiber hood. OK, he's got a 2.0 here with a 16G turbo. Everything's done clean. Yeah, I really like it. See, the intake's all done by Chill Factory. Looks good. It's a good job. Really clean. OK, team, the results are in, and I got to say the judges were impressed with both cars. But there can only be one winner, and the winner is the Neon and Team Nitrous. Oh! <laughs> We won the first challenge, hands down. We thought the judges might throw the second one to them. Not a chance. Back at the garage, the teams have no time to waste. Trying to get things done. Took the motor out, mounted the turbocharger, and we're going to put the tranny on, which we've already done. Put our new clutch in, and then we're going to drop it into the engine bay. I need that clutch alignment tool. It doesn't make sense. Team Turbo is assembling their engine before they put it in the car. But somehow, it's never as easy as it should be. We've got to put this clutch back in. Doesn't want to be jury rigged. Meanwhile, over at Team Nitrous, Mark struggles with a series of mismatched parts. Seems like this particular manifold may have been for a newer Neon. While the mechanical work continues, the team simultaneously attend to their stereo installs and bodywork. I'm just cleaning the inside of the jams up. I'm going to start repairing some of the rust on the inside of the doors. After the inside's ready for paint, I'm going to turn them over and clean up a few of the dents. You're sporting our steely. Move along, there's nothing to see here. We're gonna paint it hot pink. It's all going black for the interior. Gives the paint something to adhere to. You guys wanna see something sexy? This will be plexiglass. Oh yeah, yeah. The base should be nice and tight, and uh, the highs should be pretty clear. I think we're already doing what we gotta do to win this. I think we're just doing things right. Everybody else is too busy putting the engine back in and sanding. So I don't know how to sand. But when it comes down to it, we're all going to have to sand. No, 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 don't use this one. This stuff's not sticking any better. Very tired. Oil fight, you and you, baby. Yeah. That's a good spot. Yeah. Team Nitrous continues to battle with mismatched parts. Mark's going to start swearing. Hey, why does he snap, man? so hard not to snap. It's going to take some modification to go on, but it shouldn't have to. There's no, no yelling yet, although today, you know, everybody's getting tired now, so we'll see tonight as, uh, as time wears on how, how the nerves go, <laughs> you know. Turbo is getting hung up on its engine reinstall. Oh, oops. That high. Okay, we'll figure it out. Maybe we should drop the car and we can get it with the uh, with the floor jack. How high does the jack come up? Uh, not that high. The whole motor is shifted. Is that better? No, it's it's a little funny, huh? Yeah. With the cars off to the paint shop tomorrow, time is running out to finish the engine work. How's that? No, it's. Thanks, man. So it's the end of day two, and both teams have been moving right along. Okay. Team Turbo feel pretty good about things because they got the engine and turbo in the car, but I think they don't even know how much work they have left to do. Team Nitrous over here is feeling pretty good because they just had success making finicky parts fit. So I think we'll hear it running tonight. But either way, both these cars have to be in the paint shop tomorrow, so some team members are going to be up late tonight. As with any complex engine modification, getting it restarted is always a tricky thing.
Team Nitrous clears a major hurdle, and Team Turbo can only watch and wait until tomorrow. I was just telling the brown team not to blow anything up over there. That's loud. What do you think? It's a neon, not a Mustang. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time to go to bed. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Next on War of the Wheels, it's a race to the body shop, and things get sticky with one team's decision on paint color. I want the two-tone. So two I am so set on the two-tone. It's the beginning of day three. Both teams worked late last night, and both teams are beginning to feel the pressure and fatigue. It's a little tense. Still waiting for some things that gotta be done. It's close, but I think we're gonna make it. How are you feeling uh, fatigue-wise now that you're, you're, you're near the end? Are you tired? How are you feeling? I didn't get to bed till like 3.30, almost 4 o'clock. We're back here again 8 in the morning, so. A little burnt out, a little tired. We had breakfast, we were waiting. She's diddle daddling. She's a good worker, you know, she's helping the team out. She's making her contributions. Uh, she's running a little bit late here and there. Pretty boy over there takes longer to get ready than I do in the morning. Everybody's stressed. Stressed right out. The team stayed until about three or so in the morning. The teams worked late into the night and are now pushing hard to get the bodywork prepped, stereos installed, and interior advanced as far as they can before their paint deadline. Yeah, I know we have a three o'clock deadline today, but we're getting there. I'm so tired. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Things need to get done, and they're getting done. Trying to get this finished, try and get the top of the piece that's going to go over top. You just cut it and Brought folded it, it yeah. Oh, and then no, you just staple it all in here. Amp goes over it and hides everything. We're going to prep the engine bay and we're going to use spray bomb and just spray bomb the engine compartment black. This guy's great. He looks like a pretty boy, but he can get dirty when he wants to. I don't, isn't there any work you guys should be doing or what? <laughs> you got it all under control. That's all good. The problems that we have, I think, are still minor compared to some of the stuff they're dealing with over there, apparently, so. Where are you in good shape, and, and where are you behind right now? We're having a fuel pro uh, pump problem. Hopefully it starts. This fuel pipe just burst, just like that. Look. With the body shop deadline looming, Team Turbo hits a snag. And this is the fuel line that came with it, too. The fuel pressure regulator that I got with the kit, basically the line for it just burst. Where's the old fuel line? There wasn't, because this is for the fuel pressure regulator. I don't even know if we should use this. If it cracks like that, I don't think that, that this is right. I'd have to say everybody's tired. We're kind of uh, on the edge, too. I don't know, I'm a little worried. As time ticks away, Team Turbo still hasn't been able to get their car even close to started. Angela has tried to solve a number of problems, but is having little success and is getting very frustrated. They haven't really listened to me from the beginning. Things that I've told them, like sanding the doors down to the metal, I told them they didn't have to do that. Oh, yeah, we do. And then they found out today that, no, they didn't have to do that, but they won't listen when I tell them. Meanwhile, Team Nitrous feels their mechanical work is nearly complete, and they got this competition in the bag. Nitrous still has to be mounted, the nitrous bottle, the, the line has to be plumbed into the intake. But uh, besides that, our car's running. The teams will be judged on their car's beauty inside and out. But the time trial at the drag strip is worth the final 10 points. I know we're going to win. Mark will be driving for Team Nitrous. Angela will be driving for Team Turbo. Of course, it'll be uh, pretty embarrassing for you, Mark, if you get beaten by a girl. <laughs> Last year, I was fastest female for um, Canadian Sport Compact Series. We are definitely going to win this, because our team has what it takes. We just have to put our minds to it. It's about time. How are you feeling about your mechanical stuff, the stuff that you've done on the engine? I can't believe that we got it out and put it back in all in yeah. one day. Me and Angie just figured out all the uh, all the little twerks and tweaks we had to do, and we got the fuel problem under control. Yes, oh, you go. Yes. It's a good smell. Hey, I would tell you to toss the tire, but we already learned you guys aren't very good at that. Now 
that both teams have gotten past the difficult challenge of getting their engines going, they blow off a little steam before going to paint. surprised when you see it. It won't look like what it did when it came in. Both teams are off to fix auto for a full makeover. We're going to the body shop, get some paint and done. We're missing some tranny fluid and we're missing some coolant, so we're going to push it out of here. Where's my stunt double? primed and baked the car, and then they weren't ready, so then we primed and baked our doors and bumpers, and... At the paint shop, the ever-confident Team Nitrous gets a jump start on their rivals. I think we're so far ahead because we won that carbon fiber hood, so it's one less part that we had to set up. Well, the color we went with is uh, called Go Mango. We got uh, copper pearl in it, and there's uh, red pearl. It's gonna look good. It's pretty crazy. I hear Mike, he's good. Looks like a second place, you know, second place paint. Early on, Angela of Team Turbo wanted a one color scheme, hot pink. We're gonna paint it hot pink. We decided we'd go hot pink, mm -hmm. complete car. Pink is a really good idea. Then she changed it to a two-tone arrangement. We're gonna go hot pink in two-tone, so black on top. It's kind of like the Mopar idea. It changed again to hot pink with the black roof. We had some squabbles about that. You want to do the two-tone, black on top, pink on the bottom. And then we want to put a red pearl over top the entire car. But knowing the time pressure the team was under, the guys had different ideas. We have a lot of other stuff that we still have to get done. I want one color just because it's easier and it's faster. And... Oh, I want the two-tone. So I am so tone. set on the two-tone. Yeah. They just want to cut corners now and get it back to the shop so we can finish the interior. Like, just forget the red pearl for right now. Just pink on black. Go back to the 80s, man. Madonna in pink, hot pink in black. Okay. Why don't you ask the painter to mix up just a little tiny batch and paint it on a card. Half pink, half black, put the red pearl over top, and you, sh you show it to us. If we like it, then we'll go from there. Cool, let's see, All right, let's see if we can get the paint. What we can do with the black is so I can mix up a lilac pearl and we can put like one coat on top of the black. Yeah. Sounds yeah. wonderful. Can you, can you enhance this by putting li like more lilac in both of them? In the end, hot pink is replaced by a darker purplish pink. We have basically decided that we are going to go with this color, and then we're actually going to put this right over top, which, which sparkles like crazy. It's going to look hot. And Angela still gets her two-tone design and couldn't be happier. She's definitely happy. <laughs> Very happy. And today, I was like almost ready to cry. It was a good compromise. <laughs> Still to come, it's a mad dash to the finish line. Five minutes, all right? And two cars are reborn. The cars are back from the paint shop, but there's only two hours left and both teams are jammed for time. Neither team wants to cut any corners that's gonna lose them any points in the judging, but if the cars aren't ready, there's gonna be nothing left to judge. I'm happy with how it turned out. I think everyone's pretty tired. Getting it ready isn't really an issue. And then just keep going. Just getting the final touch of the nitrous kit done. Well, if it wasn't for Mike staying up all night and not sleeping, I mean, this car wouldn't look as beautiful as it does now. Those are sexy headlights. Sexy headlights. This car's hot. See their car? It's pink. Getting close to the final assembly. It's one of our secret weapons. We got one more for track day. We're the ones just pushing through and we're gonna finish. That's it. While Team Nitrous drives hard to the finish line, Team Turbo has sprung a leak. I see a leak. A leak from where is a question. Okay, I know what it is. I knew coming in that it'd be hard. I'm just drained. It's coming down to the wire now, and it's getting really hectic. We need a miracle. We need somebody to walk on water. Stop time, that'd be nice. Time machine or two. Everyone's sort of just in a bind right now and trying our best to help each other out. Can we put the wheels on it and roll it forward? Because I still need to finish. All right, guys, you got five minutes left, all right? Not enough time. 
Five minutes to go. Too much work. It's tight to the finish. All right, guys, how you doing? Three minutes. Gonna be done? Yep. yep. Does anybody know where it is? You got about 30 seconds. Time's the time, and it's still turning. All right, guys, you got about 30 seconds. How you feel? Dream. Okay, teams. 10 seconds. Five seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Put down the tools. Let's bring him out. Okay, teams, it's been a hard build. You've had some sleepless nights, but finally now it's time for you to show us your rides. Team Nitrous, how do you feel about the build? Well, we're all pretty much exhausted, but we're definitely proud of what we built, and we know we're going to win. That's right. Woo! All right, Team Turbo, how do you feel? Oh, we're feeling pretty good. We've had our ups, we've had our downs, but we're pretty confident we have the first place car. Yeah! All right, let's see. Bring him out. Tell us what you did to your car. Well, for our show winner, we started with an aggressive body kit, some 18-inch wheels, taillights, and for our race winner, we put some toys under the hood as well as some nitrous. Woo. That's right. Yeah. yeah! Okay, Team Turbo, what do you got to answer that with? Exactly that. We've got a nice turbo setup under the hood. We've got 17-inch rims, full body kit by Team Xenon, a dirty sound system, 17-inch monitor. Too much for these little kids over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Okay, guys, let's see what the judges have to say. Let's see what Team Nitrous came up with. Hopefully, got something fun under the hood. Yep, well, true to the name, we got a Nitrous kit. Good thing from a horsepower point of view, but it's real sudden. There's a big bottle in the back, feeds a lot of horsepower. This engine's got a lot of miles on it. Could blow up on race day. Who knows? Just like Team Turbo, they have cleaned up and polished up the engine nice, but they've gone the extra step and they've painted the frame. That looks really clean. Let's go check out the body. All right. Let's do that. Well, guys, as you can see, Team Nitrous has really thought this process through. They've got a really hot color on the outside. It's a 2006 color, brand new, but it looks a little old school. What do you think? It really catches my eye, but eh, you know what? I don't really think it fits with the color scheme they have going on with the blue seats. Yes. Yeah, but at least they took the time to paint the nitrous bottle. It matches. It does look good. All right, guys, let's check out the ice factor they have going on inside the vehicle. Now, well, as you can see, they have put in some type of effort, although I don't like the color scheme. They do have in an in-dash DVD, but 12-inch sub in the back with an amp and a battery cap. So they have done something to try to make the blink factor look good. Let's check out what kind of toys they have under the hood. Well, looks like true to their name, they put a turbo in, which is probably a sensible thing given the mileage on this engine. Got a few concerns about things like temporary fuel lines. They're gonna have to fix that before track day. But other than that, it looks all right. They've cleaned up the rust spots, they polished it up, made it a little bit shore worthy. Yeah, but will it hold together on race day? That's a good question. Well, let's go check out the body. Let's do it. As you can see, judges, the team's picked a pretty wild color. It's called Blueberry. It's got a special effect color in it. They've also done a two-tone. It's black. It looks pretty neat. I've never seen one done like this. And they put a pearl over top of that as well. They seem to tie it in the black with the black chrome lip rim. It's a subtle but sleek look. I really like it. All right, guys, let's move along and check out the bling bling factor and see what kind of base they have kicking in this system. As you guys can see already, they have a Pioneer DVD navigational deck on the inside. Total bling factor going on right here. Also in the back, we put in a 17-inch monitor, rocking two amps and a 12-inch sub. Overall, guys, this team did a pretty good job. And you know what, guys? It's a hot, sexy ride that any girl would love to drive in the street today. Okay, teams, remember the drag race is worth an extra 10 bonus points for whichever team wins. So let's see you at the track. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah! Still ahead, ready to burn out, but not fade away. Both teams try to win it all with their final time trial. The battle has shifted from garage to track. Here at Toronto Motorsports Park, our teams are finally going to test the go factor of their rides. 
one driver from each team will run the quarter mile. The team that posts the fastest time will get 10 bonus points that could mean the difference between overall victory and defeat. I'm going to be driving the car today, and I just hope we don't have a garage sale. So I'm hoping that nothing blows apart today and everything stays together and we make it down the track. As soon as you flick it, it overrides oh, yeah. everything. Oh. It'll only show the rear view camera after that. What do you need a backup camera for when you're going down the quarter mile? Let's to see how many parts they drop behind them. <laughs> Well, we're going to be running a 100 shot in Nitrous. Should be a lot more power than their turbos given them. Team Nitrous has brought a secret weapon to the track, something Team Turbo didn't budget for. The secret weapon is our drag racing tires. They should take anywhere from half a second to a full second off our quarter mile time. Oh, well, I'm looking at their car and they've got those slicks on there. They're going to get more of a pull off the, off the lines. Put those tires on the road. You still need the tranny to hook up to that engine, so that's where we're going to get them, is our transmission and our clutch. You sort of glance over the paint and one second it looks pink, the next second it looks blue. It sets us apart from, you know, one-tone colors. He's or, trash talking us or, and he's uh, got a pink car, pink. like, you know. I'll see you in the burnout box. That'll be the last time you're gonna see me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of guys are really nervous about racing against girls. No, I'm not nervous about racing against the guys. I'll do it all day long. The teams get two passes down the track. The first run is a practice pass to test their car's performance. The second run is for all the marbles. First up, big mark for Team Nitrous. Really good, really good. I think we're going to do it. For the first pass, Mark plans to go easy on the Nitrous. At 98.8 miles an hour. Pretty How do you guys good. feel? That's Not sweet. bad. That's a good start. First run. Right. Woo. How much juice did you hit that time? Yeah, Only, did you touch it? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a On which? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> But before Team Nitrous can reply to that run, Angela wonders if she will ever leave the starting line. All right, well, let's get it going. When you do the burnout, the smell of the rubber and the glue, I love that. Excellent. How do you guys feel about running what is actually a pretty slow quarter mile time? Just gonna try and keep it conservative until hey, the second run. run, to run eh? Which is the most important first one. Run first. All right, let's do it again. We go or we blow, one or the other. All right, all right, ready? Let's go get him. So it was the popping out of gear or just sliding in the gear? What happened out there? Man. The shifter linkage seemed to pop off. Everything was okay. And first I went for a second and it, I it just like nothing was there. I went like this went, and you know, nothing, nothing. I went for third, nothing, nothing. I went for fourth and went in because that's a different cable. 19.8 at 67 miles an hour for only having two gears. <laughs> that's not so bad. Not so I've bad. seen worse. Not so bad. Just hope that their car doesn't make it, which there's a good chance it won't. It's time for Team Turbo's money run, and all Angela has to do is run a time faster than 19 seconds. This run, I'm going to give it all she's got. Kid. Told you I could drive. You want to know what your reaction time was there? What? Point one one two. You guys 
ran a 1697 and still won the drag race. We won! <laughs> we won! That's all that matters! We won, we won, we won! <laughs> all right, teams, you've settled your score at the track. Team Turbo, congratulations. <laughs> all right, Nitrous, what happened out there? One of our practice runs, we went 14.6. It was a fast car, but unfortunately, on the one run that counted, we couldn't get it done. All right, guys, that was the battle, but now let's find out who won the war. In mechanical, Team Turbo took 16 points to Nitrous's 14. Yeah. In paint and body, Team Nitrous wins with 18 points to Turbo 16. Yeah. Thank you. And in interior and audio, Team Turbo takes 15 points to Nitrous's 14. So that's a total of 47 points for Turbo, 46 for Nitrous, with the 10 points from the drag race. Team Turbo, yeah. yes. you won the War of the Wheels. Yeah.